Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. I want to say, Call Hello Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha. Uh, the name of this video is gonna be for electromagnetic pulse or EMP because I seen a, a nice video that uh, the the brother the bar did. Uh, and he left links in the description box of that video about electromagnetic pulse and effects on the U.S. power grid because lately um, I don't know if everybody been feeling it but it's been like something wrong with the power because I, I watched the video double seven and he was saying you know power outages in California, New York, and places like that. Uh, I don't know if it's still going on now, um, but it has been power outages in America. They they really just testing, you know. <laughs> they probably just testing out testing it out, see if it's gonna work. But um, this is executive summary. This is the link that he left. The nation's power grid is vulnerable. To the effects of a electromagnetic electromagnetic pulse EMP now EMP really wipes out all the uh, all the power all the electricity everything because I, I actually played a game uh, Modern Warfare 2 and they got a, a kill streak on there and it's called the EMP now the EMP when you get that kill streak you 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 turn the key and it knocks out the enemy's uh power it knocks out their radar knocks out everything it knocks out their red dots everything and it and it destroys anything that's flying like if it's a helicopter in the air it's going down it's gonna everything is gonna fall and everything is gonna be knocked off balance everything is gonna just be destroyed electromagnetic pulse you know everything is gonna just gonna if it's if it's flying, it's coming to the ground. So if a plane, if an EMP happen, and it's planes in the air, those planes are coming down, man, and the power is going out. Um, a sudden burst of electromagnetic radiation, resulting from a natural or man-made event, EMP events occur with little or no warning, and can have catastrophic effects including causing outrage, out, outages to major portions of the, United, the U.S. power grid, possibly lasting for months or longer. Naturally occurring EMPs, naturally occurring MP, EMPs are produced as part of the natural cycling, wait, cyclo activity of the sun while man-made EMPs, including international electromagnetic, oh wait, intentional electromagnetic pulse, or well, not electromagnetic interference devices, and high-altitude electromagnetic pulse, are produced by the devices designed specifically to disrupt, disrupt or salakia or destroy electro. It's electronic equipment or by the detonation of a nuclear device high above the Earth's atmosphere, EMP threats have the potential to cause wide-scale long-term losses with economic co costs to the United States that vary with the multitude, makes it like it, the magnitude of the event. The cost of the damage from the most extreme solar, sol solar event has been estimated to one or two trillion with a recovery time of four to ten years while the average yearly cost of installing equipment to mitigate an EMP event is estimated at least 26 per year for the average resident customer. So if an EMP was to hit America, we would be fucked. We will be fucked for a very long time, because um, if you look at America, everything is 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 powered has to be powered. 
everything has to go off the power grid or some type of look, look what keeps our food warm the refrigerator look what how they make our food how they make cereal how they make this and that they make it by machinery man it's not handmade they make it by machinery how do they kill these animals i'm pretty sure they use machines it's it's, it's like everything is going to come to a stop because they don't make everything based off the uh, power grid and the the uh electro el, el, electromagnetic no, not so like it. the electronic they don't make basically everything electronic so if the power grid go off we basically fucked the food the food that's on to be at the grocery store not going to be powered because it doesn't have no power so it's going to go bad most of the food going to go bad ain't going to be and people going to get that food anyways so it ain't going to be no more food making because ain't going to be no more power it's going to be darkness and that's what's going to happen to america e and emp most likely they're going to knock out the power grid because it's really easy and we'll be crippled, man. Without that power grid, America will be crippled, man. Okay, this is the second paragraph. Naturally occur naturally occurring EMP events result from magnetic storms that flare on the surface of the sun and in on the surface of the sun inevitable. Although we don't know when the next specific I mean yeah, scientific Occurring, occurred, actually, oh, solar event will occur. We do know that the geomagnetic storms they produce have occurred at various incidents throughout history. We are currently entering an in, in S, interval of increased solar activity and are likely to encounter an increasing number of geomagnetic events on Earth. In 1989, an expected geomagnetic storm triggered an event to the Hydro-Quebec power system that resulted in its complete collapse within 92 seconds, leaving 6 million customers without power. This same power, I mean, this, this same storm triggered hundreds of incidents across the United States, including destroying a major transformer as an East Coast nuclear generating station. Major geomagnetic storms such as those that occurred in 1859 and 1921 are rare and occur approximately once every 100 years. Storms of this type are global events that can last for days and will likely have an effect on electro electronic electrical networks would worldwide should a storm of the mag this magnitude trigger today it could corrupt power to set to as many as 130 trillion people in the United States alone <clears throat> requiring several years to recover mandating the technology to produce I mean to protect the power grid against such as costly EMP event costly EMP event can be developed and is some cases do exist and this a lot of uh this this a good uh it's six pages you know it's it telling you about the uh, the US power grid and the electromagnetic pulse the EMP because this this is coming, man, and it's been power outages lately. Because one phone, one time my phone was tripping. Um, I couldn't call nobody. What? Well, and nobody couldn't call me. My phone was just tripping. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this shit? Then I had to remember, like, it's been power outages and stuff. Not specifically in Valdosta, like it ain't no power out or nothing. But my phone was just messing up. But um, this is just a warning, you know. Uh. I heard I heard the warning from my brother, and now I'm giving y'all the warning that an EMP is possible, and these these countries they have America has EMP uh uh missiles or whatever they have those, and other countries have those too. They can knock out the power grid in America 
and we will all die, man. Because everything goes off the power, man. Everything, man. Everything goes off the power. So, this is a warning. Through the spirit of power, you have a shot. A EMP is possible, and a EMP might happen here in America. It's it's really it is really I believe it's gonna happen, because they wouldn't do all this for no reason, man. And and especially, uh, the the detonation of a nuclear bomb, uh, as the uh, thing said, can cause an EMP. In outer space, it said that uh, the detonation of a nuclear missile could cause uh, a EMP. You know, if it's above like. I think out in us. Uh, I forgot how to set it. Um, let me look at it again. Um, the first paragraph is all I wanted to get. Or well, the first two. So, like, I'm reading this. I can't remember where it was at. Cycles. Okay, if I see it. Okay, I'm going to start right here. Including international in intentional electromagnetic interference, devices in high altitude electromagnetic pulse are produced by devices designed specifically to disrupt or destroy electronic equipment or by the detonation of a nuclear device high above the earth atmosphere so if you if somebody was to detonate a, a nuclear bomb high above the earth's atmosphere it would ca uh, immediately cause an EMP causing all the equipment all the, uh, the power to go down so I hope y'all edified with this lesson um, it's gonna happen through the spirit I believe it's gonna happen an EMP uh, or it's inevitable because if they detonate a, uh, if they detonate a uh, nuclear bomb uh, in the Earth's atmosphere above, high above the Earth's atmosphere, it's gonna cause a, a EMP. I seen that before on the game. Actually, they had launched uh, the same game, Modern Warfare Two. They had um, the, uh, I had did the mission and they launched the uh, nuclear missile, and it detonated uh, in the, out, outside of the Earth's atmosphere, and it caused an EMP. So. That's just my example. That's just to paint a visualization in your head, man. That 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 really can happen. The EMP can really happen if they launch a nuclear missile and detonate it in the out in the outer uh atmosphere of the earth. So be prepared <clears throat> through the spirit. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom. This is a warning again. So uh, I hope y'all take heed to this warning. He that has an ear, let him hear shalom.